What up, folk? This D Crenny here with another album review. I got me some R&B. You know, I like my R&B. Got me some R&B goodies on tap. So I'm bringing them straight to you. This is for the king of R&B's second studio album, Jacquees. Album is called King of R&B. So first thing first on this review, I want to shout out Birdman Beatrice on the drops. Rich Gang. Like the Rich Gang drops are there to stand out on the album. And that's not taking anything away from this album because I actually do like the album. But the drops, every time they come on, I just I just laugh. I just I just I laugh on the inside. Sometimes I burst out laughing just like you just saw they're all over this thing like what is the point dude like i get it i don't know if it's your protege i get it he's on cash money or whatever it's called now or however he's loopholing his or however he's doing things with that record label right now i get it i understand but man stay off this man's project beatrice like couple drops is cool but every time you're not you're not you're not on the track you're not the producer like <laughs> the whole king of r&b thing it's, it's just a smart publicity stunt it's 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 great i i commend him for doing it because as soon as he did it it just started an uproar how does everything become viral nowadays through the internet social media facebook twitter instagram blast it all over those things and Somebody's sure to talk about it, especially if they disagree with you. People hate when you're wrong about something, they'll blast you. So, just free publicity. The cat is solid on his features. I mean, he has a great voice, so his voice can easily carry his career to... I don't know if he'll ever be a star, but it'll carry his career consistently for a long time as long as he can sing he'll be able to do tours he'll be able to continue to make music people love r&b people love love songs he'll always be able to do that he'll be able to do it as long as who somebody consider a king of r&b keep sweat you know he's still performing as long as he stays relevant he's going to be fine in the music space basically and of all things this guy works so this is his second album. The first album was 4275. That came out in June of 2008 last year. I actually enjoyed that. I like that. I listened to that a number of times. I haven't heard all this stuff, but I've heard him a lot. So this is his second album, King of R&B. He has an EP. I Am Jacquees, 2011. 19, 1-9, 2014. Lost at Sea with Birdman, 2016. This time I'm serious, 2018. I heard someone lost at Sea with Birdman. I did not hear 19. This time I'm serious, I did not hear. Mixtapes, Round of Applause, 2011. Didn't hear that. Fan Affiliated, 2012, didn't hear that. Q-Mix, 2013. Q-Mix, 2014. Q-Mix 2, 2014. Didn't hear those either. Mood, 2016. Didn't hear that. Since You Plan, I heard some of that, 2017. F of Friend Zone with Dej Loaf, 2017. I listened to some of that. Then Lost at C2, Birdman came out last year. Heard some of that. I do like the album. But I don't care for the cover. The cover is is weird. It's doing too much. The red and then him. Maybe like maybe just like a, a dope crown or something or some kind of like reflector crown on, crown off where you turn the disc. He could do something better with it. But this just seems like some some I don't know, college student he asked on Twitter to make him a album cover and he just slapped it on there. He could have did something similar to his last album or just not make it look this weird. Please subscribe, I appreciate all the support. Please like the video if you like the video. More content is coming. Once again, thank you. Time for the review, track by track. Number one is King, featuring T.I. So this was pretty much just a play on words. Um, I actually don't mind him coming straight out and talking, getting the King stuff straight off his chest. T.I., King of the South, perfect person to have on here. He makes it clear he's referencing he's the king of this generation. He says that to start this song, to nip it in the bud, as I mentioned in the beginning, I respect the confidence, but he's incorrect. He's not the king of R&B. He's not the king of this generation. He's a good singer that makes okay music and has some good features. He also says there's multiple kings, which 
I can respect that. That is something that is very possible, and there's a lot of truth to that. You can argue that down. But him being the king, the only king of this generation or any time, not at all. Later on in this track, he cops deuces, you know, about not being a king, kind of messing around, basically saying it's a publicity stunt. I just wanted to get you guys riled up, blah, 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 blah. You know how that go. I like the song. T.I. was cool, but he was just here, honestly, just because, like I said, because of the novelty of the track. King, overall, the song's cool. Could have been better. Good beat. Good intro. I like this. Maybe one of the better songs, but definitely a good way to open the album. Track two is round two. This song is cool. Nice mellow beat. I think he sings well on here. And he sings well on a lot of the songs. And in my notes, I just kept ticking it off as he sings well, he sings well, he sings well. Because that kind of refreshes my brain. And like, okay, he's consistent. And that's pretty much what he is. Number three is E, capital E, 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 E. And he sound, he says me on it. I hate, I hate it. I don't like this song. It's obnoxious. It's got like a, a fire eight away in here. But besides that, just take this off. Number four is Come Get It. Song is good. Smooth production. Chorus is great. Very catchy with, with good tempo. When you can sing good, you have good choruses and it's catchy, you got something. FYB is the feature on here. Verse is very forgettable. I even forgot to mention him as a feature on the song. Hmm. Five is good loving. I like the chorus a lot on here. It's a good song. He sings with passion. And there's a there's a good amount of songs. It's 18 tracks. There's a good amount of songs where he sings with passion. Other songs he just sings on. I do think it's a difference. This one he sings with some passion. Number six is out of the ordinary. This kind of sounds like good loving not bad nor good it's a good repetitive if i had to be like specific about it it's a good repetitive good chorus because the last chorus was good so this chorus is good and for the last time i'm saying it <laughs> there's a bird man drop <laughs> there's more there's a ton more i just sorry number seven is risk it all for the most people that know, this is one of those sayings that is taking the internet by storm when you like a like a female or like a guy or whatever the case may be. You risk it all if you really like them. That's the theme of the song featuring Tory Lanez. Tory Lanez verse. Uh, just get it off of here. Definitely a letdown. But overall, I really did like this song. I wish Tory Lanez would have came with it gave us some some goods and then this probably would have been the best song on here but i really enjoyed this song very good vibe very cool vibe this is one I, I, i'll play i'll play again i could just not you know i can skip tory lane's verse or skip to the next song but you get the gist of the song number eight is warning i like the bridge and i like the production but the beginning of the verses are weak they're whack it's something about them it's just it's like the first three fourths of the verses are just what what is this like and he switches up near the end or like i said that the last quarter of the song he switches up both of the verses and they're so much better it's just like a a transition that's dope and you know kind of makes the song lesser than it should be number nine is all you need featuring quavo and bluff city never heard of bluff city Last verse, Quavo, like Robert and Ebert, whoever they are, two thumbs down. They just ruined the song. I wish they would have just left Quavo off, left Bluff City off, or just made them do something different. Jacquees just got to put his foot down. Like, look, man, we got to. It's got to be better than this. Cause Jacquees is great. He sounds great. It's 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 perfect for him. Like. The production is perfect. It's got this feel good. It's not a summer sound. It's a it's a cruising sound. It's a vibe. It's a it's a feeling. Like this is one of those songs that that, that they just ruin the feeling of the song. Overall, he's just in his bag on his production. And if you just take the features off, this is this is really really good. Number ten is Cross the Line, a solid quick track about effing things up 
with in your relationship with your girl cross the line you cross the line 11 factor fiction has a good concept but it feels corny to me just something about this song something about it i just don't like but this is one of those songs where his vocals save it if he couldn't sing i would rag on this but he, he can sing <laughs> number 12 is nunu I like this song at first. At first, the first time I listened to it, I, like, I like this. I like this little, little janky. Um, I don't even know what to call it. Like um, uh, nursery, nursery R and B, <laughs> nursery R and B. Yeah, it, I liked it at first, but uh, it's a pretty bad song. It's, it's catchy, but it's, it's bad. Number thirteen is Verify, featuring Young Thug and Gunna. He does a good job on his on his chorus, his verse. For the most part, again, but the features—I think the features overall, outside of—I mean, I think the features, all of them, just let him down. Like his features on here, let him down. It—it it, it was a downer on the album. I think the features it didn't take him seriously. I feel like, which which is unfortunate because he has some good features on here. It sucks. Fourteen is never say goodbye. The production sounds are cycle. It sounds like something we've already heard on here. It is a solid R&B song, and that's also the interesting part about it. Some of the songs do sound repetitive, but the songs that sound repetitive, like this one, is, a, is an R&B song. It's actually an R&B song, and it would be much better, I think, if it was played before an earlier song, or just played earlier, like if it were replaced E or Me or three, whatever three was. Like put "Never Say Goodbye" right there and. It's like, oh man, it's, it feels so much better. But it's buried it down in 14, where some people probably won't even hear. 15 is Superstar featuring Summer Walker. One of those tracks that I look at on the track list. Like, oh, that one. Can't wait to 15 comes around. And then it's called Superstar. So, you know, if I hear a song called Superstar, I'm thinking Usher. You know, any R&B artist make a song called Superstar, automatically appear to Usher's version on Confessions. I mean, why wouldn't you? And... To be fair, it doesn't measure close, but he does seem to pay some homage to that on, on the chorus on here. Summer Walker is okay. She didn't stand out. Honestly, another feature that just, I just think they didn't take him seriously. It's unfortunate again. Number 16 is What They Gonna Do With Me. It's featuring Future. It's a slightly different sound. It's the Future sound, trap sound, trap R&B. Is what I'm gonna pronounce it, and I like it. Future is probably the best feature on here. He actually does his thing. Like it might have been Future song originally. That's probably why it's good. It's probably was Future song, and he's rapped on it and did his part first, and gave it to Jacquees. And Jacquees, oh yeah, I can put this on my album since you're not doing nothing with it. I'm sorry. Upset about the features a little bit. Seventeen is hot for me, featuring Little Kid and Little Got It. Like the sound, hate the features, polar opposite. They're completely opposite of what Jacquees does. Just, uh, I put in my notes originally, like one of the first notes I wrote was like, like why? Like why, question mark, question mark. That's what I put. But why, really? Really, why? 18 is your piece featuring Lil Baby. So this is the only sound on here that's different than the rest of the album. But he does sound uncomfortable. Jacquees sounds uncomfortable on here. I wish this would have been moved up. I wish this wasn't 18. I wish it was an outro. It's not an outro. It's just a filler song. But it's a it's decent because it's different. He sounds uncomfortable, but he he does his best on here. And then Lil Baby doesn't even have a verse. He just has like a couple statements and a thought. Or a thought and a couple statements. It's just whatever. Once again. What? Features? Come on. Take my project seriously. Jacquees' second studio album, King of R&B, is 59 minutes. And overall, his vocals saves this album. He sings so well that honestly, I think there's always something to like from him. If he gives you 18 songs, I can almost guarantee nine of them will give you some vocals and some production. So you got something. I've heard a good amount of his music for the most part and i enjoy it i don't have any of the production credits on here but shout out to whoever did that because mostly everything on here even the repetitive stuff is good overall i do like the project 
I'm hit and miss almost with every listen and something I don't like, something I'm nitpicking with last listen before actually doing this review. You know, I said the features were really letting me down just from a review standpoint. Jacquees is probably fine with it, but yeah, could have made this album a lot better. I do have a lot to listen to in the car, obviously, and a good amount in the gym. I've been listening to some of this in the gym, believe it or not. I'll be looking forward to the next project or whatever he does next and the features and whatnot. He's a good singer, solid artist, and he did his best on this work here. I mean, I think he put in a solid effort. Appreciate you guys watching. I'll be back with another review very, very soon. So please sub up. Please like the video. Till the next time. Holla.